It's Monday, March the 2nd, and you're listening to the Three Nerds in a Basement podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Blavin. And I'm TJ. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show, where we talk about all the cool things in the world. No Anthony this week. And I could get used to hearing it's TJ instead of Anthony this time around. Why? Maybe this should be a permanent change, I why? think. I, I have to concur. Yeah. Yeah. I can just feel the... I can di- feel the love, and I mean, <laughs> the viewer count's off the charts right now. I like, know. We're just watching this. The, the atmosphere is nicer. Yeah. yeah. I just love it. Oh, man. So, how long do you think before Anthony goes, beep, you guys? Oh, before, He's probably, he already said it, right? As he clicked play. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. He probably already said it. Because right. I bet you he's anticipating us to... Yeah. To yeah, lag yeah. on him for missing this week's episode. Sup, man? Sup, Anthony? I hear you ditched us for some other people. Some other friends. Oh. Oh. It, oh, this is what it feels like. To, you know what? Now I know how it feels like when I don't show up. <laughs> it hurts, you know? It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no Anthony this week. No Anthony. He's out doing some other things. Yep, yep. Yeah. Anyways, March. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. April Fool's is in April. No. Okay. I was going to so, say. <laughs> don't look at me like that. You're a bit early on that. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, what's March known for? Spring? Patrick's Day? Oh, man. Get right. Yeah. Get actually right. Oh, that's in March. Yeah. The 17th. But I was just going to say, time is moving by fast. It's already March. It's not moving by fast enough. What? Are you... You want it to go faster? Yeah. I want to, I want to know what it's like to be 30. Oh, I'm done with 25. God. I'm done with mid-20s. Get out of here. Guarantee it's no different. Yeah, probably not. Hey. It probably isn't different, but... I just hope my facial structure doesn't change. I want time to slow down. Yeah. I want to savor this moment. This specific moment? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, when, like whenever I'm downtown, I'm always walking fast. And I see faces <laughs> passing. And I'm, you know, I'm homebound. So, like, you know. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Man. I saw, I, today, like, I was playing Magic, and there's this little eight-year-old kid who's saying that. So I'm like, how do you know about this girl? Like, but apparently, you know how they know about it? Parents. Vines. Oh, vines. 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 Yeah. Right? Interesting. Very random. That's a surprise. Right? Yeah, no, yeah. that's a... Yeah, right. Wow. Okay, vines. Neat. Power Rangers. Yeah. The large part of our childhood. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I have the best story for you. You know Marty Moore from Power Rangers <laughs> Wild Force? Yeah. Do you, did you watch any of it? I think I know what you're going to talk about. Did you know the guy named Cole? The the Red Ranger? Uh, the leader? He killed a guy with a katana. Yeah. Oh! He stabbed his roommate. I heard about that. And the guy died. Do you know what's even funnier? He came back to Power Rangers in Samurai. Yeah, yeah. And he was the samurai-wielding badass. <laughs> or the, the, the katana-wielding badass. That's so funny. Uh, anyways. That's this, so ironic, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> That, that's no, that's good. That the, the the gritty side of Power Rangers, I feel that. Yeah, and this is what really ties into what happened here. With, this with week this was year. a big Power Rangers week as a fan, not a fan, sorry, yeah. fan film was made by a man called Power Slash Rangers. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> and it's a dark, gritty take on the franchise. It's about fifteen minutes long. Yeah, I, I knew you watched it, right? I did. I didn't watch it before you guys, did I? I think you got to it before I did. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I was the first one to get to it, yeah. yeah okay. But uh, TJ watched some of it. Mm-hmm. Like the first 20 seconds. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So you really didn't get through any of it? No. Okay, that makes sense. So, you know, but what did you think, Blavin? So basically this whole thing was just, uh, the story was Rocky has betrayed the Power Rangers and is hunting them down with the Machine Empire. <laughs> and he has Kimberly in interrogation, right? Is that what it is? Yep. And uh, basically, they go through each of the Rangers' lives and what happened afterwards. Mm-hmm. And, for example, Zack is very action-oriented. He, he wants to fight all the time. Mm-hmm. And he has Taibo tapes. And he has women yeah. in his room. And he's fighting all the time. Mm-hmm. And there's a gory scene where he fights these Yakuza people. And he shoots a bunch of them in the head. And they try to shoot him because of his Ranger costume. and just bounces off him, right? Yeah. And he stabs a dude in the neck with a knife, right? And in the eye. And in the eye, yeah. yeah. He's like, these people are dying. Like, he's slitting throats and stuff. And then he gets shot in the back of the head. Yeah. Like, with a gun. Mm. And then uh, after that, uh, Rocky overdoses on cocaine or something. No, no, he gets shot up. Jason. Jason gets shot up. 
but not before you know they told him about that he did cocaine and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He's married to Kimberly. Billy got shot in the back of the head after he's a huge CEO. Yeah. Trini was dead. Yeah. Just that. And of course, <laughs> the person they were looking for. Yes. Was Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. 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 He's literally become Ryu wandering the world. Yeah, he's wandering the world. And every time they flash back on what the Rangers were doing, uh, they were all dead. He was showing up, you know, trying to figure out who killed him. Yeah. And then later on, you find out mm. that the person who did kill them was Kimberly herself. Yeah. And she turns out to be in the end, Rita. Yeah, Rita Repulsa. Who looks super, con- like, cartoonish. Yeah, of, of everything in this short, the Rita costume... Yeah, it was the worst, right? It was the wor- like, by far the worst. Right? It stood out by yeah. how bad it was. Right. But did you like it? What did you think? Like, I, I I thought it was funny. Yeah? Because, like, it's like, whoa, really bloody. Yeah. It was very well produced. Like, there's a lot of production value here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I just thought it was a fresh take, and I actually enjoyed watching all of it. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I, I kind of agree. It was, it, was, it was cool to see a different angle to it. I don't think it necessarily makes sense or lines right. up with anything right and and when i found out later that the director like knew nothing knew nothing of power rangers other than what he's seen in marketing and just right. word of mouth that makes a lot more sense i do think it asks an important question like how did how did giving these teenagers with attitude superpowers affect them afterwards right right i think that's a great take yeah because these like we were you know in, conscripted to do yeah. fight an intergalactic war that we knew nothing about yeah yeah i think that was that was it was great and how that affects their adulthood. Yeah. I just don't I just what the content of this this short just a lot of it just doesn't make sense to me. Well yeah. A lot of it just seems like an excuse to show off my my production value or yeah. You gotta um, admit though what is it? Tommy's suit was sick. He had the like the hologram oh, chest yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah, no, it was cool. Yeah. It was different? It was cool. Yeah, yeah. His his chest piece, the gold piece. <laughs> Wait, was he the white or the the green one. Okay. He, it was just like a hard light hologram yeah. on top of his thing. Huh. It was weird, yeah. It was cool. But, uh, yeah, no. I thought it was worth watching. Yeah, me too. Me too, yeah. definitely. Very but they, they have threatened to take it down, eh? No, they made a deal. It's back up. Oh, <laughs> they made a deal? Yeah, they made a deal with Saban. Saban? Heim Saban. Heim Saban. Yeah, so it's back up. So you can watch it on Vimeo. You can watch the Safe for Work version on YouTube. There's a Safe for Work version? Yeah, where they cut out the swearing. And they the swear a lot. Oh, oh man. man. That's different. They swear a lot. Yeah. I think, like... I think my biggest problem is why does the future... What, what is this machine world Terminator future? Right. Like, why is it like that, right? Yeah. Who is the Machine Empire? Were they, like, from another Power Rangers? I have no idea. I think so, right? I think they were the ones from, like, uh, who, who, oh, man. I think it was the guys from, uh, the, the racing guys. The go on, the go on jers, right? They were facing against a machine empire, weren't they? What were they? Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe it was just, like, you know, the second set of rangers. Yeah. But then why would Tommy be green? Exactly, right? Yeah. But then again, there was Rocky. Yeah, but then they don't make it, a mention to Aisha or... Aisha. I forget John Young Watch's actual name. Adam. Adam. Yeah, they don't make mention to them. Yeah. So it's like why? Why am I a frog? Yeah. It's like a kiss from a princess <laughs> oh, makes God. you into a prince. He's like, oh yeah. Of course. It's like, no man, you're still a frog. You guys know what I'm talking about? You're talking about the movie. Yeah, and he's just like, why? Why am I a frog? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like you're a falcon. You're like this is so awesome. Mm-hmm. You're a wolf. You're a bear. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a frog. I, I got a long tongue. It happens, man. It happens. It happens. One of you guys got to get shafted. It happens. Uh, okay. Blavin? Yeah. Pick, give me give me one of your picks. Uh, my pick of the week is actually something really sad. Uh, Leonard Nimoy has passed away. Like he sure has. That was a big thing. and I. Uh, it happened, I think, Thursday or so? I think, yeah, late, later in the week. Yeah. Yeah, later in the week. And yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, like, talking about him, have you guys had a lot of experience with Leonard Nimoy? I mean, I didn't really watch the original Star Trek at all. The only time that I remember was was ever really exposed to his character was during the Star Trek reboot. Mm, well, I grew up on the next gen. Star so Trek. Picard? So Picard and number Make it one. So. Yeah, Make it so. <laughs> number <laughs> one? Oh, Richard? Yeah. Riker? Yeah, Riker? Riker? The guy who would like step over a stool yeah, to sit yeah, down all the time? Yeah, yeah. There's a compilation of that, eh? <laughs> yes. No of him just, Riker just stepping over stools. Yeah, but no, but but because I, I, because I've known the next gen, I, I, I have been exposed to the original Star Trek as well. Right. Um... 
But no, like I didn't grow up with Spock. It was only until the movies. And, mm-hmm. and so, more, he was more of a pop culture icon mm-hmm, mm-hmm. than anything else. Right, right, right. And another thing I wanted to touch on today was, is the dress black or blue or gold and white? Mm, this blew up. Yeah, so there is a thing going around where there is a dress, a picture of a dress, and people are seeing it in different colors. Mm. And I'm sure if, you know, whoever you are on the internet, you probably have already ran into it. Oh, of course. So let's just go around the table and see what we've seen. I see a white with a tint of blue and gold. Yeah. TJ? I see blue and black. And I see the, the same as Blazing, I guess. Yeah. What? The dealio. Apparently they said it's because of rods and cones, but that can't be true because your rods and cones can be fatigued. That's why, you know those pictures where you look at something, like a one dot uh, in like a picture or something, and then it makes it into a, what is it? They, they put it into another picture. Sorry, it's a black picture, and you have to look at this dot in the middle of mm-hmm. it, and then they show you another picture, and you can still see the other picture in full color. Mm-hmm. you look away when you come back it's because you're tiring out your rods and codes in your eyes it does different colors and when you tire it out you can't see that color for a little bit yeah and every you know the the other parts of it are kicking in right yeah so but like i mean it's on all the time i can never not see the one color so what if you're colorblind i don't know it's different for them yeah all right it's just how your brain perceives everything yeah it's like that one with the ballerina spinning left you look away and come yeah. back spinning right <clears throat> or have you seen the the one where it's like there's a checkerboard there's a cylinder and then there's a shadow cast on it and they mark one of the dark checkers uh, A yeah. and one B yeah. and they ask you which one's darker Yeah. when in fact they're both the same shade. Yeah, it's just an illusionary trick, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've, just, I've, yeah, yeah. I've seen a bunch of those, right? Because like, there's ones where like, this is like this size and this size, which one's smaller <clears> or bigger? They're both the same size. It's just the space they're in. It makes it look yeah. like one's bigger, right? Yeah. No. It's just how you're it's interesting. Yeah. Brain processes it. For sure, for sure. It was cool. I, I was surprised to see how much it blew up. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, yeah. that just goes to show, like, what, what blows up, right? Yeah, I was I was actually really late to the party on this one. <laughs> so was I. Yeah. But, like, is it a party we really wanted to attend? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Party with neat dresses? Sure. Yeah. Why not? That The best meme... Okay, what were the best memes you guys saw? For me, there was one that says... Some see blue and black, and it's Michael Jackson when he's younger, wearing a blue, like, shirt. But others see white and gold, and it's him in, like, his gold outfit, all oh. white, with the long hair. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. And then, uh, that was another one that I saw. It was, like, a lot of people are just, like, what does it matter? The dress is ugly. <laughs> That's oh, it. I saw, I saw a lot of, like, that only, did, did they say yes to it? Yeah. Oh, really? They didn't, like, say yes to the dress? Say yes to the dress. Uh, and then the best one I saw, I think, was, um, it was... Captain America. Oh, really? Like, like, oh, oh, God. Iron like, Man, white and gold. gold Civil, Civil War. War. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. No, no, it was, it was it was a fun little distraction this week. Yeah. And that's all we need in our lives, right? More distractions. Yeah, of course. Why, why have we got to focus on the real things, you know? <clears throat> exactly. Get the whole world into controversy over this damn dress. It was great. I liked it. <laughs> Love it. Finally, Fast and Furious. What about it? You know, Fast and Furious is a great franchise. Very popular franchise. Very marketable franchise. Yeah. But there's never been really any good video games. Okay. So they're finally, there's going to be a Fast and the Furious video game again. Really? This time, headed up by the guys who make Forza. Oh, oh pretty cool. It's going to be an standalone expansion pack to Forza Horizon. Hmm. And it's going to be completely free. Really? Ooh. Well, it's going to be free for the first month. As a marketing tool, and then it'll be ten bucks later on. Mm-hmm. That seems pretty fun. Yeah, no, I'm interested. I hope my uh, I can remake some scenes with the, uh, <laughs> you know, Vince is gonna be in Vin Diesel's car, and then I'm gonna be in Paul Walker's car. You know, we're just gonna yeah. drive next to each other, say lines from the movies on headset. Okay, yeah, sure. We live it in real life. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, sure. That sounds great. Does it though? Does it really? <laughs> I don't know. Does it really? What? Is it really? Is it really? I feel like you should start saying yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not a weeb. Yeah. I met other weebs. Oh. Other than my brother. Oh. There's a person who was playing out at my F and M who had a Hatsune Miku mat. Oh. And I'm like, are you a weeb? He's like, yes. Team Miku. I'm like, oh my god. Who are you? Oh. Are you no. in league with my brother? No. No. It's spreading. It's a virus. It's a virus. The world's they, it must to be an cut. End. It must be vaccinated <laughs> from this world. Must be cut. Oh. Mm. <sighs> All right. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Other than that, you know. God, yeah. weebs. Yeah, I know, man. But you gotta love them. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you gotta love them. Never. I am. I am a secret weeb. I mean, overt. no, you are full on. I'm full on overt about yeah. it. Yeah, I could tell you which archetypes I like. I could tell you all that stuff. Yeah. TJ, do you have a pick of the week? Anything you want to mention that you were late to the party on? Um, I was late to the party on. Or anything this week. I don't know. Apparently, they're going to try and make that giant mobile one-to-one scale Gundam. Oh, they already yeah. did. No, they're going to try and make it mobile. Like walk. What? They want to make it move. Like, I don't know how or what yo, it's going to do. Yo, it's over. But they want to make it yo, move. Yo, then they're going to push some kid into it. And he's going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be Japan's number one fighting force. So, the, yeah. I saw this story. The interesting thing is, they have the timeline about... Yeah. And it's it it's, should be done by 2019. Yeah, that right? seems pretty close. But what's interesting is, uh, <laughs> Japan, or like Bandai themselves, ha- also have a, the, the identical project, and like our timeline finishes in 2019. So, what I want to know is... What do you mean? There's two projects? I thought they were the same people. Yes, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, are they the same people? Because this one sounded like an open contest for anybody. Oh man! Right, but Japan, like Japan, like the official Gundam people have yeah. already made plans to be like, we're gonna do it by twenty nineteen as well. So who's the other people doing it? What? Well, know. they're still no. affiliated, so I just don't know if it's like so Bandai and the government of Japan. What? What do you mean? Like Bandai and the government of Japan have already who are in charge of it. Yeah, they've already said like we're gonna try and make it move. That's our goal in five okay. years. Okay. Uh, but then this competition showed up, and it seemed like it was affiliated with the same people. Uh, Maybe they're just trying to get people's ideas. Yeah, so I think that's what it looked like. Yeah, you're right. I think it's just they're just trying to crowdsource it now. Yeah. Want to make it mobile? Oh my god! Right? Can you imagine. Yeah, and then the other thing they had in mind too was they're going to build those, a matching Zaku to go with it. Oh my god! It's over. Oh man, a red Zaku. It's, it's going to be awesome. Dude, they're going to have to hire a white guy with blonde hair to be Shar, <laughs> with a mask. Oh my god. <laughs> It's it, ogre. It could, it could be the greatest thing. It could oh, be the greatest man. thing. Yeah. They should all just fight in the middle of Tokyo. Yeah, we should all get on that. Yeah, I don't know where I'd begin. Send them your ideas, guys. Um, you do this. <laughs> I'd sign it. Sign it. <laughs> like I just write my name on it. Yeah, yeah. Can but, I just like but, install a, f- a panel onto it and just say I did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like just screw on the panel. There we go. It's done. <laughs> Yeah, that's my contribution. That means they're taking it down then, I guess? I thought it always came down. Yeah, it always came down. They always had to disassemble it and then reassemble it and disassemble it. Oh, it goes out during the winter? No, but they move it. Oh. Yeah. Because I've seen it, uh, pictures where there's snow all over it. Yeah, that's And it true. lights up. That's cool. Oh, man. Yeah. That must suck to clean. I think they just wait for it to melt. And then they take it down. Oh, man. <laughs> man can you imagine the guy who has to climb the Gundam? You still paid a lot. I don't know. That must be like the best job in the world. Yeah. Be like, good morning, RX seventy eight. I wonder if the <laughs> cockpit is like designed in there. Like, it, I, obviously oh. it doesn't it doesn't work, but I wonder if they took the time to build out a cockpit. That'd be so like cool. It's full replica. Yeah. yeah and then so could you imagine you're just sitting in there like, oh man, this is it. Just taking yeah. it apart. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, man, I would obviously act like I'm there. Oh, yeah. I would just be, like, <laughs> tapping computer keys. Yeah. Be, like, saying random shit. I'd Somebody's going to open it and be like, yo, get the fuck out. I would have the new type, <laughs> the new type sound going on. The like, <laughs> Yeah. Blavin, you're supposed to be taking the shit Blavin, apart. Blavin, whoa, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. There's enemies at six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, that's cool. So, yeah. It is cool. Right? I, I hope. It's Ogre, man. The Universal Century's coming. <sighs> Blaze is going to be a pilot, first class, and I'm old. Yeah. I'll never see the day. Now my mm. little brother's fighting in space. <laughs> Get some space <laughs> noids. He's going to finally find the new type archetype. Blaze is going to be the first, and he's going to have his harem love life oh, on the ship. No. Oh, oh, man! No. What I would envy to be a <laughs> younger generation. Oh, so do I. I want to be a kid now. So yeah, they right. thrust me into a giant robot. Yeah. Oh, man. Hopefully it works. Can you imagine that? It's like kids in their later years are like, I don't want to be in a robot and forced to fight. Like, yeah, okay, I will. <laughs> it's like, throw them aside. It's like, sweet. <laughs> Get me in there. <sighs> oh, man. This that's could, nuts. This yeah. could be a thing. Yeah, that's nuts. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. 
So let's move on. Yeah. Yo, weeks happened. Yo, week has happened. Yeah. Anything exciting? Man, we gotta stop staying up slowly playing Monster Hunter. Nah, we probably won't. We probably won't. It's, it's probably gonna be like for the next month. Yeah, it's nuts. We've logged way too many hours on there. I'm like, man, 78 hours? I feel like I could have mastered a skill at this point. They say you need a thousand hours hours to master something. Uh, that was 10,000. 10,000. Oh, so there you go. You it's couldn't have mastered anything, Blavin. <laughs> yeah, but 78 <laughs> hours <laughs> chopping off at 10,000 is <laughs> still a start, you know? Not a significant start. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can... You can you can say that for Dude, sure. Dude, you're not even at 1%. Yeah, hey man. It's, you're still early enough for you to... <laughs> to quit? To quit. To quit. it and quit it? To quit. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you hear, you heard it here first. What, why bother starting? <laughs> exactly, right? Right? Oh, my God. TJ, what did you do this year? I'm, I'm curious to hear you. Oh, what did I do? Besides playing Monster Hunter Bus, that's, that's a given <laughs> for all of us. I think we all played Monster Hunter this week. We did, we did. Other than that, let's see... I've been watching Big Bang Theory. Still? Well, I bought all seven seasons. What? At once? Available. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I got an email from Amazon. It's like, this is on sale. I was like, okay. So I bought it. What? <laughs> is it like a box set or what? <laughs> no, it's just... It, it It looked like they just took each individual one, stuck them together, and saran wrapped it. Cool. You, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I mean, they stuck it in an Amazon box. That's what it looked like. Seriously? Yeah, so I just finished season seven. Oh, okay. so you finished the whole thing? So far, yeah. Is it over? No. No, Still they're in going. season eight right now. What? But I haven't really watched much of that. I don't even know how it would end. But yeah. Two and a half men ended. No. Yeah. Thanks. It had to end. What, no one liked it anymore? I don't know. Man. Charlie was gone. Yeah, that's true. Yep. They killed him off. But anyways, yeah. So I watched that. Mm. Um, Some cool stuff. What else I do? And then the other thing would be just be Netflix. So you've been watching a new show, right? I've been watching a show called Departures. Departures? Yeah, so basically it's about these two guys. They're at this point in their life where they figure they're going to drop everything they're doing to travel for a year. Mm-hmm. Because if they don't do it now, they're not going to be able to ever. That's how I feel. Yeah, so they, they quit their jobs, you know, mm. left their girlfriends, said goodbye to everyone. Actually left their girlfriends? Like, broke up with them? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the part that worries you? Man! Screw you guys. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. So they do that. And then... <clears throat> they're just gonna travel the world... For a whole year. And basically... They start off in Canada. So the first episode is just them going... From the Atlantic coast to the Pacific coast. Okay. That's nuts. I know. They did it in like 10 days. Uh, and then... They travel to Jordan. And the thing about this is they're the places they're traveling to, they know someone. Like they they have connections in everywhere they're traveling. Oh okay. so they always have someone to stay with or they know someone who can hook them up with a place to stay and show them around. Cool. Um but yeah. So it's just them and the cameraman. So the camera has to be in on this. The, the cameraman, yeah. Cameraman's in on this too. So there's three of them then. There's three of them, but you like rarely see the cameraman. And I yeah. bet you there's more than three of them. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if you guys know how a production studio works, but I don't know. A film team. It just looked like one camera, dude. But like, there how, must be such bad quality. But, yeah, I was gonna say like, how are they filming these scenes? Like, do you ever th stop to think about how they got certain shots? Actually, I do, cause there's there's this one point where yeah. I, I can't remember where they were. But they had, like, aerial shots of them driving in an RV. I was like, how did you do this? I'm telling you, there's, like, ten of them. Okay. Because you can't just get that, right? I mean... They only show you one cameraman. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, it's basically there's just them going to different places of the world, taking in the culture, you know, just enjoying life mm. before they have to get back to the real world. And How old are these guys? They're... Oh. I want to say they're in their mid to late twenties. Okay. So like, dude, uh, that's uh, us around our age. Dude, why aren't we around the world? Yeah. Let's start. Let's start today. Tomorrow we're going to Burlington. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty minute drive. You know, I need to go to the Apple Store. So. Yeah, let's, let's you know, start small. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Cool. Other than Monster Hunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> See, that's the thing. It takes so much of our time. It it does. It well, does. it's not so much that I've been playing it. It's more that I've been trying to figure out what I want to do. Here's TJ without a goal. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah, exactly. I turn it on. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? And then I just end up reading up online. <laughs> that's me too. For hours. And then like, I just log hours on this game of me just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> You guys just like, man. You guys are weird. I turn it on and I do the missions. No, you know, when I've turned it on, I just go through each one. Oh, I don't even do that. I just rush to, to get my HR rank higher. Oh, you're okay. So we all have different uh, ones here. I, I'm a completionist. I like to do each level, all the star quests. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was trying to do. But it got boring. Yeah. Yeah, but it, I don't I just do. I just do the key quests and sometimes the villager quests if I know it's going to get me something. Yeah, but like sometimes I, I do things and then I didn't even realize that it was going to give me anything extra. Mm. Well, so it's just a pleasant surprise. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I started farming some trap materials. You guys haven't been doing that already? Oh, I did that already. I was farming honey. Oh. You don't need that much honey. We're not that bad. I have 500 honey. Okay, that's that's too much. I I have... n- now he's set. Yeah, but I have... <laughs> I spread out my resources. I have 400 mega potions. That's a lot. Oh shit, that's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah, then I realized I should probably start using the other areas of the farm. Yeah, probably. The only area I don't use is the bones. That one, yeah. Yeah, me too. I don't use it I for dung bombs. Reason to do it. Dung bombs. Oh yeah, dung yeah. That's bomb. like the only reason though. It's, yeah, yeah. And it's so freaking expensive. Yeah, you know what's more expensive? Mm. Dragon stool. Dragon. <laughs> dragon. <laughs> What dragon toadstool? Yeah, dragon toadstool. What, what are those used for? Because I farmed like 50 of them. Oh, who knows, man? I don't even know. I think they're used for dragon shots. But hey, I'm oh, not, I'm not well, using it for anything. I've been wasting my money. Yeah. yeah. But I only do when it's on sale. Oh, right. They go on sale. Yeah. But let me tell you, scatterfish fishing is not fun. That sucks. Yeah, you only get like one or two at a time. Oh, what? Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? The feline fishing? Yeah. Yeah. How many do you get at a time? Do you have like skills that go off? Yeah, like scatterfish catcher and stuff. Do you also use bait? Yeah. Hmm. No, but like, as in like you catch one or two scatter, like you oh, get a bunch in a line. And it's only like one at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that sucks. Yeah. I wish there was an easier way to do that. Yeah. Is there a trip tips and tricks to that thing? That little mini game? I, I tried to skip. Oh, really? <laughs> what I try to do is I try to, when they all bundled up, I try to catch all the things in that bundle. Like, you can catch multiple bundles. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, but you're That's supposed to wait for them, all of them to get together. Yeah. Like, aim it right? Oh, wow. I'm not good at it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, man. It's okay. Okay, yeah. Sweet. Anything else besides Monster Hunter, believe me? For me, I went to a tournament on the weekend for Modern Magic. So, Modern Magic's anything with the new border and up, and it's a eternal format, so it's constantly getting updated. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was run by Mana Deprived, which is uh, the home of Canadian Magic, is the website. Um, basically, they had a tournament in Toronto. It was a cash tournament, and it was held at Seneca College. And basically, the total prize for totaled around two thousand five hundred dollars. Cool. So it was actually like really, really fun. It was really well run. Uh, there were a few snafus here and there, but uh, they do this series all throughout Canada. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it as a tournament. I think the next one they're having is in April. And yeah, they have judges, uh, you get three times the points, and it was actually a lot, a lot of fun. My uh, record was not so stellar, I went two wins, six losses. You're improving. Uh, no. <laughs> but uh, the deck I was piloting was the combo deck from the Pro Tour, and it just, uh, playing against higher level players, it really highlights how much I need to work on, because it's quite, uh, it's quite difficult to play, and every move counts, and uh, there's no room for error, so. And I made a lot of errors, so <laughs> that, that's where that's at. And, cool. uh, yeah, that's basically it. That and Monster Hunter has been, uh, the big part of my week. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. I also watched the movie Whiplash, actually. Is that the one with... The drumming. The drumming? It was J.K. Simmons. He's a drum, uh, instructor at, uh, what is it, uh, Conservatory of Music in New York or something. And, uh, student, uh, decides to, or is, is, is uh, first year, and, uh, he's playing and, uh, basically, you know... J.K. Cinema scouts him out, and then when he gets into the studio band, he just mistreats him the whole time and, oh. like, you know, calls him the F word, all that kind of stuff. And, like, it's all basically him trying to basically use his tough love aspect to, like, make him better. 
But yeah, the movie is pretty good. I, I really it, it's hard for me to explain it because it's just, it's a drama film, obviously. Yeah. It's about this kid who's trying to be the best drummer he can be, and what he's willing to sacrifice like to do it, right? Mm -hmm. The hours of practice and all that kind of stuff, and <clears throat> yeah. putting up with J.K. Simmons' character yeah. as the instructor and all that kind of stuff. And right. yeah, it won a uh, he J.K. Simmons actually won best supporting actor for the Oscars for oh, okay. his role in this movie. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's not a uh, big Hollywood movie, but. Uh, it's a good one nonetheless. In Who's the girl in this movie? I don't know. Actually, she's. I, don't, I think she's a not known. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think there's a lot of big names in here except J.K. Simmons. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yes, sir. Nito. Well, like you guys, I played Monster Hunter. Yeah. Sweet. But you guys know my other hobbies. I like to build model kits and. You do. And Lego and stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That something doesn't add up. I like to build stuff. No, but, no. But um, <laughs> here's the big surprise. Yep. I didn't really build anything. I just bought. What did you buy? I bought the Lego Hulkbuster set. Really? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I. You said you 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 build Lego, but like, why Lego? You were always complaining about how expensive it is. It is expensive. But what did you need this for so badly? Because it looked cool. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and then I bought the McLaren Formula One set. Really? The Lego Formula One set. Yeah. Wow. Well, that one's kind of a given. I had to buy that. <laughs> like, you... It could have been whatever, and I would have bought it anyway. Yeah. But the funny thing is, like, that's probably the best, I guess, Formula One anything merchandising I could get. Really? Because, yeah, because Formula One, like, model kits are hard to come by as it is. Really? Yeah. You would think that they make them, like, every huh. year. They don't. And they only pick select cars, and usually the cars have to be at least a couple years old. Huh. Yeah. But I mean, so this one, right, was McLaren. Mm. What's the one that has Lewis Hamilton? Mercedes. Do they have a Lego set? No. Really? No. Why not? Because... They're the biggest named team, right? Ferrari's the biggest named team. Do they have one? Yes. Oh. Uh, you can't find that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I was searching my, like, I went out, I was like, I'm going to go on a toy hunt because I haven't done this in a while. I couldn't find it. I was so disappointed. I thought you toy hunt all the time. No, I stopped doing it because I, I there was really nothing out that I, I needed right. or was interested in. And it was only by chance that I saw the McLaren set because, what was I looking for? Yeah. I was looking for the Hulkbuster set. Right, the one you have now. Yeah. And I saw the McLaren one. I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't realize they made this. And then I went home and searched it up. I'm like, oh, there's a Ferrari set. Ma and then I went back out. I'm like, no one has it. <laughs> Is there even a Lego store? Yeah, it's in Toronto. Oh, okay. They might have it. Yeah, I might have to go out there. <laughs> he just ordered online mm -hmm. or something? Mm, I was checking and no. Because it, it's like their stock is too new. Really? Yeah. Oh, random. And, like, right now, the big push is the Marvel Ultron Lego sets. Uh-huh. And so those are... Voltron? Ultron. Ultron. Oh, Ultron. Ultron sets. Age of Ultron Avengers. Right. So those are all the ones that I could find online for new pre-orders. I mean, I'm sure it'll, it'll be up eventually. Right. But I kind of want to just go to a store and buy it. Yeah, I understand. You know. I hear what you mean. And plus, I need to go to the Lego store because i got to buy uh, certain pieces. Piece? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Like, I want to buy different colored helmets. Oh, my God. You cray-cray. I know. Son? Yeah. But other than that, Monster Hunter, anime. What anime? Same anime I'm watching. My brother started watching Akagumega Kill. Oh, really? Yeah, and we made a new friend who is named after... Yes. A, a character... He's not a character in Akagumega Kill. He's the armor. It's the armor. Yeah. So Incursio, if you're out there, we need you. We need you back. Incursio, give us a call. Yeah, when Anthony was MIA, a man, a legend, joined <laughs> our, our gathering hall. His name was Incursio. Silent. But when we put up a quest, he ran straight to the board and ran straight to be ready. Uh, the man is a legend. Oh, Incursio. Gets insta-KO'd every time. Yeah. Makes Really tests our metal. <laughs> You know, we deliver such lines as, oh my god, Incursio's gonna faint again. Kill this monster before we fail the quest. I mean, monsters are a lot, a lot tougher than it needed to be. 
Yeah. We had to beat the monster faster than it could kill Incursio. Exactly. <laughs> it was good. It was, it was good. It was a fantastic time. It was night. a fantastic time. So have you been watching a comic I kill on the sideline? Yeah, with my brother. I just watch whenever I see my brother. Yo, that show's crazy. What do you mean? Like, it's just... It's just... Shonen. And apparently, according to my brother, there's a lot of, like, rape and stuff in the manga. Okay. Like, like everybody gets, you know, at, you know, effed over by the Empire. Yeah, I found the first half, they only did it for shock value. Yeah, this is what I heard, too. Yeah, it's the second half where it really starts to make a difference. Oh, okay. But, like, the whole dark kill, like, in the first couple episodes, like, main characters die. Uh-huh. But it's has no effect on anything, because you don't really know them. I think Anthony would really like this, because there's a guy with a pompadour. I, I know he dies. I know. Do you know that he's basically Kamina? Yeah, I mean, he's, like, super strong. And he's he, basically unbeatable, and he gives the armor to the kid. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that he dies the exact same way Kamina dies? No, he doesn't. He does. What, in the armor? Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. How? He And the scene is almost identical. What, somebody stabs him from above? Uh, he gets poisoned, they said. Uh, yeah, but, like, but he... He still gets up anyway, and he fights... And, like, he could survive. What? Yeah, but he uses all his energy to kill. And then he dies. What, what do you mean? He's, like, he's just surrounded or something? No, 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 no. Like, it's it's hard to say, but the way the scene, the entire scene is framed is direct and directly out of Grand Logan. Really? Yeah. Random. It even happens in the same episode number. Episode 8. Really? <laughs> 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 Woo! Woo! And you know how... Yeah, the kid even screams like, uh, big bro. Really? Aniki. That's what he says. No yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So it became a standard now, right? Yeah. So when I saw that, I was kind of like, a little bit like, I shook my head at it like, no, no I'm disappointed in you, Agami kill. That's amazing. I think you'd love it. Uh, I was okay. He dies in the armor. It's okay. Amazing. So the person I like is the person with the wires because I always like wire fighters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, green, the girl with the glasses, the, with the big sword. Yeah, and yeah. The big boobies. I hope she doesn't die. I hope she doesn't. Don't get... they all have big tits in that show? No, there's a little girl with small boobs. Oh yeah, the pink hair. Yeah, yeah, I they're hope... all color coordinated. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I hope the purple girl doesn't die or like get eaten by a large monster. No, I hope not. She totally does. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. No, Anthony likes the, would like the yellow hair. Oh, the cat girl? Yeah. Yeah. Anthony would like that one. Is the cat girl, or she's like the feral girl, The right? beast girl. Yeah, the beast girl, yeah. 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 And just Akagame, like, A- kill... Akame? Akame got killed. This title reminds me of Kill La Kill, because there's kill at the end. Mm-hmm. And then also, that girl reminds me of mm-hmm. the girl from yeah. Kill La Kill. Mm-hmm. Who came first? I don't know. The Akame or the kill? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it was cool. Neat All right. I think that's it. Yeah. I mean, without Anthony here, like, we can, we can just, make fun of him, yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. We can make fun of him? I was just going to say, we just fly through this thing. Yeah. I guess we don't really, I guess we don't really do too much, too many different things, eh? No. We don't. Yeah. No. We don't go to <laughs> avant-garde jazz concerts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sadly, we don't. I haven't been going to a concert in a long time, actually. A uh, concert? I don't know. Would you count Would you count your thing as a concert? What the time? The Final Fantasy thing? Distant World? I guess, yeah. yeah I guess so. I kind of want to I kind of want to go to Distant World this year. This year you want to go? Yeah, is there is it even on this year? It's like, it's like every November. Really? Oh, it's yeah. my birthday day that time. Yeah. I might. I don't know. Like I guess I like Final Fantasy music enough. It's fun. Is it? Yeah. But I don't know all the songs, though. I haven't played all It doesn't matter. They only play the popular ones. Good. Uh, Okay. Okay, so... (laughs) Uh Uh-oh, here we go. I mean, (laughs) the only one I need to know if they play. Yes. You know what I'm going to (laughs) say? No. No, no, you know what I'm going to say. I don't. You absolutely know what I'm going to say. I have no idea. (sighs) Do they play One Wing Angel? (laughs) Yes, they do play one. Ah, yes! Just eat, enough Sephiroth. And they will even encore it for you. Well, do they actually? They play it as their finale. Uh-huh. And then when they come back, they have like a remixed version of it. <laughs> and it's like 
15 minutes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Christian must have hated it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Do they crank uh, out such hits as Two Xanarkin? They do? Absolutely. Of course they do. What do they even play from 8? Uh, Eyes on Me or something? No, the ballroom scene. Oh, I like that one. Do they play Theme of Love? That's one of my favorite songs. I don't think so. No? No. Ugh. Gross. They play the, the opera one from 6. Yeah, I heard about that. The opening theme to seven. Mm. The opening theme to seven. Yeah. Like the Mako reactor. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They also do. They do a lot of nice ones from four. Oh, theme of love maybe is one of them. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Dun, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yeah, the theme of love. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite one. Yeah. That's it. That is actually I think my favorite Final Fantasy song. Yeah. Theme of love. Any any from uh. Any from Final Fantasy X? Oh, two Xanarkin. Other than two Xanarkin? Yeah. Uh, shoot. Do they play any of the battle themes? They do play the battle themes. Uh, the seven battle theme. <laughs> do they play any from ten too? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> they don't. They don't. Do you think they'll add some stuff from Realm Reborn this time? No, it was around when... Realm Reborn was around when you guys were there, right? So they should have... No, I think they're going to play stuff from fifteen. Oh, just, yeah, so that's coming out soon, isn't it? I don't know. So Type Zero has a playable demo apparently for it. Yeah, so that's out on the seventeenth. Right. So are you guys gonna pick it up for the demo or what? For the demo? No. You guys gonna pick up at all? If I don't know, I'll I'll read reviews. Cause the thing is, it's based on a mobile game. That's the thing, right? But it looks fine. Yeah. I mean, there's girls in skirts with swords. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dang. I mean, you know, maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'll yeah. maybe, if it turns out to be a good game, I'll pick it up. Yeah, because I saw the, the post, or not the poster, but the big cardboard cut out at EB, and I'm like, man, there's there's literally a girl with a skirt, glasses, yeah, and has a sword. Like, this is good. I think the demo only comes with, like, the super limited edition, though. Really? Oh, yeah, it's true. The one from your PR from the Square Enix site? Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, that's a hassle. Mm. So, and I'm okay to wait. Last time they put in a demo, you just walked in a straight line for an hour. <laughs> so, uh, that's, oh. what, that's what it is. And if you want to see the demo, it's online. Really? Yeah, you can watch it all right now, I think. Really? Okay. I'll just do that. I think it's on my YouTube watch later list, actually. Yeah, I'll just it's do like that. an hour. Yeah. I'll just watch that. Yeah. The battle system looks cool. Yeah. But Final Fantasy battle systems always look cool. How do they play? And then when you play it, you're like, oh, man. <laughs> like, damn it. What the <laughs> hell? It. Yeah, it's true. That's how the, the last three have been, actually. Yeah, yeah. It looks flashy. And when you play it, you're like, oh, my God. Like, what's going on? Like, how did I not, how can I not do this again? Like, basically, all the cutscenes, the sweet cutscenes you want to skip. Yeah. When you're fighting and stuff. Yeah. Final Fantasy is not what it used to be. No. Fuck, we sound old and yeah. jaded. Man, I want my guy to be standing on one end of the screen and them standing on the <laughs> other side of the screen. And I'm going to slash air and you're going to get hurt. I, I know what do you mean. They take a step forward. <laughs> They're just like, smack, smack. And then when you get really good at the game, you level up. They do it like hyper fast, like yeah, 20 times. Pa, pa, pa. Yeah. And it says 10 hit, even though you only did one. Yeah. It's like sick. So fast, I didn't even see it. I remember yeah. those days. Good times. God. I did play the, the Final Fantasy 1 re release on PSP. That's a bad game. Yo, it was hard. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 are not good. Yeah, 2 is good because you can hurt yourself and you get stronger. That's That doesn't mean it's good. It's like when they were experimenting, it was like, That's man, can an this exploit. be broken in any sort of way? can't be. I mean, who would who would sit here and grind themselves up for the 70? Yeah, yeah. Lots of people. <laughs> huh. Yeah, because you got, like, resistances or, like, skills or something for hurting anyone, including yourself, so. Yeah. You just target yourself. I heard the uh, new Final Fantasy XV is supposed to be much like eight with the wildlife junction. Oh, cool, cool. Where you kill shit. To... All, all I care about is a triple triad. Oh, they yeah. got to bring back a card game. I spent more time playing that card game than playing Final Fantasy VIII. Like, there was a whole subset of stuff to do for that game. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, because if you do do it correctly, like, you're just unstoppable. Because it's like, oh, you played a bunch of these guys in your cafeteria in the first disc. Here's your final weapon. Because you can, like, take the cards and synthesize them into items. And if you fight the high enough level people, 
you just get the sweetest cards, right? And then you synthesize them with the items. I'll bet you'll only get one of it, but you oh. have to do play them multiple times and get it, right? Oh. And then you get all the stuff you need for your first your final weapon, your first oh. disc. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. So it's, mm, sounds good. It does. It does. <laughs> there was something I was going to mention again yeah. with Final Fantasy, but I can't remember. I've lost track. I've lost focus. Oh, you know what I did this week? Uh, I got a, uh, So I'm watching this anime called how to, how to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. Fantastic. Okay. But uh, it's, it's for some reason or another, I ended up reading pages upon pages of girls' stereotype, anime, anime girl stereotypes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I know which ones I like. Which one? So I, I think it's pretty obvious I like the... Take a guess. Okay, what's the one where they, they hate you but they love you? Yonder? Tsundere. There we go. That's right. that's number one. But I also like the one that's kind of the rival to the Tsundere. It's usually the opposite, where she's like the older one and she's cold to you. What are those ones? Kudare. Oh, the one that's like, doesn't what? show much emotion. Yeah. So what is it? doesn't show much, much emotion, emotion, but... They'll warm up to you later on. Yeah. If it's the right person. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I was like, because okay, because when I'm watching this show, I'm like, oh my god, you they, guys are the worst. They go through it, right? And they're and they're because the whole point is they're writing a dating sim game. Yeah. And they're going through the archetypes, and they're letting you <laughs> know cool. what kind of archetypes they are. But at the same time, these archetypes are the actual characters. Oh my god. And so they're explaining to the audience why it is you like them, and I'm like. Oh my this god. This was in The Boring Girlfriend? Yeah, I'm just like, cool. my mind is blown. Which uh, episode was it in? Uh, six. Six? I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. You can't watch it standalone, right? Or can you? No, you can't watch it standalone. Oh, okay. But this explanation sequence doesn't sound like it's... Well, it was based off a visual novel, I think, so yeah, yeah you have to watch it. Out. Yeah, it's... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the show. Uh, that's why I really like the show. It's like, it doesn't really break the fourth wall, but it rubs up against it enough. <laughs> and you're like, what? I don't know. <laughs> what was the other ones Phyllis and Vince actually what are the different ones because um, you and my brother apparently know both oh yeah yeah um, uh, Yandere is a very popular one y- well. Yandere is the one the, the psychopath right yeah <laughs> I love no, you and no one else can <laughs> yeah. what, what no, no one else can love you <laughs> but me <laughs> but me and if they do I'll have to kill them yeah. or I will oh. kill you myself yeah. <laughs> or I will kill you because I love you so much yeah. that is awesome um, who's the one that's uh she likes being a princess. Himidare? Himidare or Kamidare. <laughs> Something like that. God? Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. she's like, you... Bow down to me. Yeah. She basically wants you to treat her like she's a god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. The main character is usually what? Tsundere. Yeah. Right? Like Rin's a Tsundere, right? Yeah. From Fate's yeah. Day Night. Yeah. 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 Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so was Yukari from Persona 3. Oh, she Is she? Yeah. yeah. And Mitsuru's the other one I like, the Kudare. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. Because she's like, usually so like, you know, rich yeah. and elegant. But yeah. And when you get into her lover's room, she like starts warming up to you and you're like, ah. Oh, right. Yeah. You guys are the worst. Yeah. So which was the one that's like super innocent and loves you like really, really like? Oh. Derry Derry? Derry Derry. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that one. What's the, what's that one that they <laughs> actually just love you, love you? They just love and they're just genuine and they're honest yeah. and... <laughs> You know, those girls sure. suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So what? What would you search this up? Huh? When did you search this? When do you? How do you search this up? Like, anime girl types or like? Yeah, I just put anime girl stereotypes. Okay. And then I found a quiz like, which anime girl stereotype <laughs> are you? Oh yeah, I took that before. As well. <laughs> <laughs> what did each of you get? I got Kudere. Oh, really? I, yeah. I think I did too as well. I was like, what? What? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are the worst. Or the best. I hate you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. That is, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Vince was like, oh, I'm busy today. It's like, well, I mean, now yeah. I know why you're not. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, what does dairy even mean? Uh, it's like affection and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what? I actually did read read the root for what that word means. Yeah, but I forget. It didn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. But yeah. Whew. It was 
great. Yeah. And then from that, I was like, okay, I learned this. Now I'm going to go do accounting. So there's Don Derry. Yeah. Uh, that's another one as well. Yeah. I forgot. That one. Shine Quiet and Caring. Oh, yeah. That's a common one as well. Yeah. yeah. Correctly. Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. But which one's your favorite? It's probably Derry Derry. What? Oh, yeah. you suck. Yeah, I like the girls who are like Oh, that. man. I thought you liked... That was the genuine one? Know. Yeah, the genuine one, one who just loves you. Do you think I like? The cutesy one. I, I thought you liked the Yandere one. Yeah, I thought you liked the killer. <laughs> oh, I like them too. <laughs> I like them too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the one that's motherly? Oh, that one is... Uh... That's Anthony's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yep, yep. Because he loves every <laughs> robot show with a... Uh, with a lady mechanic? Yeah. Yeah, who's like their boss or like, the, you know. The one who's drunk all the, the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! Or the captain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's why I said. The yellow-haired chick in a comic Is she, is she the, yeah, motherly, like that. the motherly one? And she's yeah. always drunk. Okay. Yeah, that's Anthony's favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. A little bit more information about us. Oh, what would be funny. TJ's type? <laughs> oh, yeah, TJ. What is your anime girl type? I don't think I have one. No! What? Okay, you don't like any... Okay, just name any anime girl that you like. And I'll be able to tell you which one it is. Anime girl that I like. Okay, you... Let's, let's go through the list. In, I can't even remember what I've watched. In Code Geass. Have you seen all that? No. no. Yeah. Okay, Gundam. Which one? Anyone. Zero, zero. You Anyone that right? sticks out. Anyone that sticks out? Yeah. yeah. I can only think of Double O. And who, who in there did you like? The only girl I can remember is The Strategist. Strategist. It's Sumeragi? Yeah, Sumeragi, the the one that. Yeah, Anthony she's like likes. motherly. Oh, the red hair. Okay, Bleach. Oh, Bleach. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's a toss up between. Orihime. Okay, that's okay. The, that's, okay, so that's the... Derry Derry. Okay. <laughs> and Yoruichi. Yoruichi. Oh, Yoruichi. She's sort of motherly, right? Yeah, she's, yeah. she's the... Okay, what about uh, Naruto? No, it's No. Tsunade? No, I like Tsunade. Oh, she's the Dandere, the shy, quiet... Okay, so then you're like Blaven. The Amy type from Sailor Moon. Oh, Sailor Moon, actually. Which one's Amy? The blue-haired one. Mercury? Yeah. No, I liked Mars. So, no, he likes the older ones. What? The motherly ones. Mars is Sundere, though. Is she? Yeah. Jupiter's. Oh, the motherly one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do like Jupiter. So you like the same one that Vince likes. I think you're a combination of me and Blavin. Yeah. Somewhere in between. So I'm in between. Yeah. As as per usual, TJ, yeah. never one side, always in the middle. Yeah. Always. Exactly. Always. always. Never, never black or white, always gray. This has been an enlightening evening. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this is exactly what the, what the people wanted to, to listen to. Well, now they know. What is Sonico? Sonico is a mascot, is what she is. <laughs> she, she, she's she, she is want, nothing. She's whatever you want her to be, okay? Pretty much. You want her to be naked? Sure. You want to have a tan? Sure. Bathing suit? Sure. Tiger hoodie? Sure. God. Anything. Anything. This is what I'm hearing. Hatsune mm-hmm. Miku, what about her? Again, she's... Whatever you want her to be. She's whatever you want her to be. Yeah, that's true. I want her to be a racing girl. Race queen. I can't see her as a Tsundere, though. Uh, yeah, to me, she seems more like Dere Dere. And you can't handle that shit. No. Sure. no. <laughs> those girls those get kicked like to the car. Like... Why? Because they're boring? Which one's Dere Dere? The really genuine who oh, actually does okay. love you. Yeah. Why do you like Tsundere? They must be such a pain. It, they can. Yeah, but but it's, they're also keepers. I don't know why. Yeah, but, I, but they're loyal. Oh my <laughs> god! You guys <laughs> like are first! Go- <laughs> like, in Persona, like in Golden. Uh, for Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> even if you like have the lover's route with like every single girl in the game as long as you max out Marie's route and the lover's route uh at the end of the day uh she'll be staying by your house and then uh she'll give you Valentine's Day chocolate even oh. though you already had a Valentine's Day date with another girl beforehand oh, okay. that's See why that. I like Marie that's right she was sooner yeah, yeah yeah she was a keeper <laughs> yeah oh you're saying that even if you dated another girl that day she'd still be there yeah oh as long as you have her in the lover route. That she's loyal. Yeah. So I had Rise and yeah, uh, but, Marie. Yeah, there is where it's at, you know. It's... So you know, I'll say, okay, just watch uh, Future Diary. Then no, just watch uh, yeah, Bakemonogatari. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Bakemonogatari. She'll literally, she'll staple your cheek. Oh, yeah, Sinjo. Which is Bakemonogatari? 
Is that the one with the, the monster stuff? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. who met the crab and yeah. stuff? Yeah. yeah. Is that the one with the toothbrush scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, my God! The toothbrush scene, yeah. Oh, I Blaze did, watch this I other... did watch that. Yeah, I watched Blaze watch one of these animals maze too. Good luck club. Good job club. Good job club. Okay. Oh, that! Yeah, the like there's a scene where like this girl was like, her brother's like, brother, you must brush my hair. And then you can't like, brush any other girl's hair, only my hair. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell are you watching? You're like, oh yeah, it's so funny, Kuya. Like, Blaze, what? Blaze, this is crazy! No, and then like, uh, hair brushing is like the equivalent. Yeah, she's like, like, ah, she's like, ah, she's like, ah, she's like, 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 screaming. Yo, th- so also, there's another anime coming so, up, apparently. Uh-huh. There's about cooking. And I swear to God, this is the trailer, okay? <laughs> so it's apparently, like, some sort of, like, elite academy for cooks, right? Mm. So there's, like, this hot, like... there's uh, The main character is obviously this dude with spiky hair and has a bandana oh, on. Oh, I think I may have heard of this. Mm. Yeah, and then there's another guy who has, like, super hot and has only an apron on. There's an evil chef. And then there's these girls who, like, cook. And, like, the feral girl who you guys know is always drunk. Who looks like she's that part of that archetype. is like, cutting meat. Mm. Of course. Then they friggin' the girls eat like one of this guy's fried rice, and then their clothes explode, <laughs> and they glisten oh, and uh, like. Oh yeah, no, I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. and they're like, like, "Oh my god, like oh, this fried rice is so good." <laughs> so it's like, man, this show seems awesome. <laughs> this is what it's like now. I don't approve. I do approve. I know, which is weird. <laughs> yeah. uh, there you have it. There you have it, folks. <laughs> this has been a train wreck. I wish Anthony was here. No, but he, we already know what his type is. So. Yeah. yeah. We know what his answers are. Yeah. We can just speak for him. Yeah. Ah, you can take next week off, too. Yeah. <laughs> you predict it. Yeah. We should have one of us act as Anthony. Ooh, we should. Oh, my God. We should have a role, role play day where each of us switches <laughs> one seat over. Oh, my And each of us does something God. different. Oh, my God. It'd be so good. That would be horrible. Anthony would be you. You would be me. I would yeah. be Anthony. Yeah. Or, and then one day we'll switch the other way around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that would be hilarious. It would be, it would be, actually. There you have it. Yeah, yeah. We've reached our code of one hour. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we had to fill it out a bit at the end there with some anime garbage, but... <laughs> <laughs> now you know. No. So a- any girls out there who want to be obsessively in love with me, come yeah. get at you, boy. I'll use Cinderay types or even Kudere types. If you don't have to tell me you like me. <laughs> yeah. I'll know. <laughs> Just by your actions alone. If you want to email me, tell me how much you don't like me. I'll know what you mean. I I I got you. Oh, man. And how you didn't mean to actually write me this email telling me how much you didn't like me. Yeah, you just accidentally hit send. I get that. Don't worry. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh... (sighs) Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Did you have something else to say? No, I was going to say, where, do they, where can they reach us? Oh, it's tnib.letters at gmail.com. Write in those letters, please. Or don't. Or accidentally. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Vine, totally. Snapchat. Uh huh. Wow, you guys, are, you guys are out there. We're out there. Swipe left on twin- Tinder? <laughs> yeah, you're in the basement. <laughs> Swipe left. You got it. Yeah. Thanks for listening. See right. you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.